This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1409, Herding Cats, A Simple Method for Working with the Disorder of Our Lives, by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our weekly bonus episode of ORD, with me, your host, Greg Audino. Now, as per usual, I'm just introducing the article, though. Uh, In our bonus episodes, we share posts that have already been read on other shows in the OLD network, but that we think cover a lot of important relationship information nonetheless and would be enjoyable to you guys. So this one aired on our main show where it all began, Optimal Living Daily. So you're now going to hear the voice of Justin, the main narrator over there. Kick back and enjoy this post, everyone, as we optimize your life. Herding Cats a Simple Method for Working with the Disorder of Our Lives by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. When we're trying to change our habits and our lives, even if you have some success, you'll notice two longer-term difficulties. One, habit efforts get sidetracked, you are constantly in a state of transition, things are always in flux, and it can all feel completely out of control. What you really want is a sense of stability and consistency, but you can't seem to find it. So the common question is, How do I develop discipline to be more consistent without all kinds of starts and stops and constant flux? And two, or maybe you're doing relatively well, developing one habit after another, but then your life seems to be pretty full. And the question becomes, how do I fit all of these habits into my life? I wanna exercise, meditate, cook healthy food, read every morning, declutter, focus on top of my important tasks, write every day, stay on top of email and messages spend some time outdoors, sketch every day. There's just not enough time when you factor in eating, chores, showering, etc. So what do these two problems have in common? They might seem like two different problems. One person feels like everything is a mess and the other just wants to find the right order for everything they're trying to fit in their life. The common factor is that things don't feel like they're in order and there's a sense of uncertainty and chaos and disorder that causes some anxiety or stress. The solution to both problems is the same then. One, realize that this disorder and chaos is actually the normal for this process. Two, accept that uncertainty and disorder and relax into them. And three, stay with your intention despite the chaos. Keep pushing into the discomfort with it going forward while being compassionate for any missteps or interruptions. In the end, it's like herding cats. Things are going to be disorderly and if you accept that and relax into it, you'll have a lot less stress while still trying to get the cats to go in the right direction. Let's talk about the disorder and chaos and how to accept the fact of them and then talk about how to herd the cats, basically herding our lives. Accepting and relaxing into the disorder of our lives. When things are up in the air, it can feel like we're in transition. Once I get past this trip or project or illness or visit from my in-laws, then everything will settle down. But here's the truth, our lives are always in transition. There's always messiness. There's always going to be something interrupting our set habits, schedule, and routines. There is always disorder. We'll always feel uncertainty because of all that chaos. This is the simple fact of our lives, and yet we want order. We want simple answers. We want the perfect daily routine, the perfect set of habits, the smooth ride of a Japanese bullet train. This desire for order, simplicity, consistency, and perfection in the face of the reality of disorder, complications, interruptions, and messiness is the cause of our anxiety, stress, disappointment with ourselves, struggle, and frustrations. Let's be clear about that. We cause our own difficulties and stress simply by not accepting the way things are. We are the cause of the anxiety and frustration, not any external factors. This isn't something to feel shame about, but rather a fact to rejoice. We have the power to remove that stress by simply accepting the true nature of our lives. Things are always in transition. Things will always be messy and disordered. And that's not a problem. It's nothing to worry about. It's actually a thing of beauty. Think of nature. It's not straight lines and smoothness. It's chaos and random growth. It's blooms and disruption, adaptation and flow. It's so beautiful because of its disorder. Once we see the beauty and the disorder of our lives, we can accept it and relax into it. Instead of struggling and holding tightly to our ideals, we can relax our grip, relax our bodies, and just breathe. Loosen our hold on how we wish things were and just be in the middle of the chaos in a relaxed, open awareness. Relax into the disorder. 
It's a warm jacuzzi of a bath. How to herd cats or work with the disorder of our lives. So we're accepting, we're relaxing, we're enjoying the beauty of it all. Wonderful, now what? How do we herd the disorder of our lives in some semblance of a direction? How do we herd the cats to go somewhere we'd like them to go? If we accept that we're herding cats and not trying to run a smooth bullet train ride, we can work with the chaotic nature of the cats. We know cats aren't going to follow directions or go on a schedule. We know the nature of cats and to expect them to be a bullet train is ridiculous. With that in mind, let's talk about a method of herding cats, the disorder of our lives. Number one, set an intention. Think of this as a direction you'd like to head in. You want your life to go in the direction of better health, so you have an intention to take care of your health with exercise and a diet full of veggies. Number two, start herding the cats in that direction. Intention is nothing without action. So start moving things in that direction. It might mean setting reminders, asking for support from family, putting notes to yourself around the house, having your running shoes next to your bed, finding a workout partner, finding some good healthy recipes, etc. Number three, Try to keep the cats going in the right direction. Continue to try to keep your intention for as long as you can. Things will go astray, we're herding cats here, come on, but for as long as you can, keep them going in the right direction. Keep adding more structure, reminders, accountability, rewards, etc. Number four, when things go astray, they will. Don't get bothered by it, it's a part of the process. Relax into it and just start again. Yep, you heard me, get it? Just start again, going back to step one. There's no step five. You just keep setting that intention, keep taking action to go in the right direction and stay on track. And when things go astray, relax and don't be bothered, but continue the process. It's not really starting again, actually, but just continuing the hurting. It's that simple. When things go astray, it's not a problem. There's never a problem. It's all just beautiful chaos with a loving intention. What about the second person from the beginning of this article who wants to find the perfect order of habits and routines? They are hurting the cats of their day. There isn't a perfect order, it's just continually experimenting, continually trying new habits, continually learning what works and what doesn't, and what works this month might be different than last month. Think of the habits and routines and tasks and chores of your day or week as the cats you're hurting in this case. They don't wanna be put in order. You can try to organize, which is totally fine, but just don't stress too much about getting things in the right order, organized properly. Just herd the chaos of your day with loving intention. Learn to love the flow instead of wanting things to be set. The wild flow of our lives is a thing of heartbreaking beauty and joy. You just listened to the post titled Herding Cats, A Simple Method for Working with the Disorder of Our Lives by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. Thank you to Leo. So the basic practical takeaway from this one that he listed out was to simply set an intention, get moving in that direction somehow, however you can do it, and try to stay in that direction, basically using inertia. Then the key part, when things go wrong, because they will go wrong, or if it goes backwards, don't freak out and don't give up. Just start again and everything will be okay. This is definitely key for building any new habits. It's really simple. Start small, stick with it. But I'll leave it at that. Hope your week is off to a great start. Thank you for being here and listening to me and for subscribing to the show. And I'll be back tomorrow reading to you where your optimal life awaits.